And following is a Samsung Galaxy A40 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So I already have everything ready in front of me. Um, there is a SIM tray right here and a little eject tool. Uh, so what you want to have is basically a SIM card with a pin on it. So once you put it in the phone will request a pin and by doing so it will also take us to the lock screen which we want. And uh, you want to also connect to the internet so progress to the setup like you would usually do till you get to the screen where it wants you to connect so it can then tell you that you need to verify the account so I am already connected as you can see and once that's ready um, you can put in the tray so slide it on the sim card and there will be a, a trick that we're gonna do so as you can see, now we have the um, screen, like screen with a pin, and we want to put the pin eject tool in there. And what you want to do is pop the SIM card back out while right after you see it pop out, press the power button. You want to do it really quickly, and there is just a brief moment between between like the screen unlocking and the time we get a message that you can do so. Just to give you an example of doing it wrong, if you do it too slowly, you get this message and it automatically goes. Or it doesn't go. Let's see. Let's try that again. Just to show you what I mean. So if you pop it out, it should do this. And uh, basically it unlocks the device and goes back to the screen here. And we want to have it like it was previously. So we do it by basically pressing the power button right after you eject the, the SIM tray. Oops. So let's do that once more, but correctly this time. So putting it in, screen goes like so. And you eject it and press power button. And as you can see, now we're on a lock screen. So. From here, you want to tap this little button right over here, the lock screen, or the lock. And then you will get the no, uh, no sign in, tap on notification settings, and then tap on see all here. And you want to most recent from here, and again all. And then go and find YouTube app. So somewhere on the bottom, there it is tap on it from here tap on an app uh, notification settings so right here then tap on about and Google privacy policy okay and now just accept it uh, you don't need to sign in you just want the access to the browser so from here we're gonna go to hard reset website so hard reset.info go now you want to change the category to download so tap on the bars over there and then select download in the download search field type in android 8 move it so you can see um, can see Android 8 search for it and you will see this FRP bypass tap on download and go down once more right here continue and you need to allow it so okay and then tap on open once it downloads now to actually install it, we'll need to enable unknown sources. So in settings, I'm gonna flip this on and I can go one back. And then we'll be able to tap on install. Once it's installed, we're gonna open it. Yep, yeah, so tap on open. 
And from here, what we want to do is tap on Google Account Management, I think, or... Yep. Let's go back. It's Google Account Management and installed for version 6.0. Then once more, go into Settings, Enable Unknown Sources, and go one back. And again, tap on Install. Okay. Once it installs, just tap done. And now tap on uh, Bypass FRP and select Browser Sign In. And on here, we're going to tap on the three little dots right here to go into the menu and then select Browser Sign In. Tap on OK. And now we get to put in the email that you would wish to use. So I'm going to put mine in. And tap on next and now put in the password for the email that you have put in i'm gonna do the same okay and once you tap on next it will go to the little screen like it's loading and then go back here and at this moment we're done with this program and what we need to do is reboot the device so I'm actually gonna take the SIM card out and put this back in. It's not needed anymore. So hold the power key and select restart. And what this will do now is once we go back to the setup screen um, and you have the Android verification screen, it will automatically think that you're already logged in with the account that we provided just a moment ago. And you can proceed without actually inputting anything in there. And basically get through the entire setup of the device. But once it's finished, or once we go through the setup, we want to uh, do a last hard reset of the device to remove any kind of uh, residue after the previous account. So let's do that once the device is on. So I'm just gonna quickly skip through this. As you can see, there was the account that we provided. And we didn't need to actually put in anything and just proceed it on. Um, just gonna tap on don't restore. Now once more this setup doesn't really matter because we're gonna go through it once more after we're finished. So just go through it as quick as possible. Okay, so now that we have the access to the home screen, what you want to do is go into settings. So I pull down the notification and you have a setting icon right here. Go, go to the settings, go all the way down into, where is it? Um, I think it's going to be advanced features or not. Gonna search for reset. Okay. 
So here it is, reset settings. It's in general management and reset. You can tap on it and uh, tap on the reset settings. Or, well, not, not this one, sorry. Uh, factory data wipe, that's what I want or what we need. So once you go into factory data wipe, just let's go again from like the beginning so you can get a clear view of where I went. It's gonna be in general management right here. So almost at the bottom. And from here have the reset and you have factory data reset. Just tap on reset once more, delete all and wait for the process to go through. And once it has reset, we'll be back in the setup screen, but this time there will be no previous uh, Google account to verify. So we can just set up completely as a fresh device. So all this is doing, I'll be back once we actually are in the setup screen. And as you can see, now the process has been finished and we can now set up the device once more. So as you can see already, we can skip the Wi-Fi connection which if it would be still locked, would actually have to connect. So tap on accept. Then you can go through the, to this process as you like. You can set up your passwords, your uh, Google accounts, connect the internet, um, set up some kind of pin and protections. It's now like the official uh, setup, so you don't need to worry about anything. And uh, once it is set up, it will be all fine. And as you can see, the device is set up and working fine. And everything is okay. So that is basically how you do a bypass of the Google verification. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.